The one thing that nobody's talking about right now is the shot stick and how it's gonna revolutionize NBA 2K21. I'm talking about it right now. Get ahead of the curve. Lido! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. Look, man. You know, this is gonna be a real short video. Um, look, the shot stick. Please turn it on. Don't I mean just use it. Just use it. Like I know we got a lot of time with the uh, button. We got a love affair with the button. We want to use the button. But I'm telling you, the shot stick is going to open your game up to so many different other shots, bro. Like so many other shots. Fades. Catch and shoots. Load ups are gone. Look at this. Load ups are gone. Why are load ups gone now? Because you don't have to worry about the timing of the shot anymore. The reason that load ups used to be a thing was because, you know, you, it, it's a different timing. So because it's a different timing, you couldn't, um, it took a little while for you, you know, you, you just couldn't catch it. It's, it's a lot to ask for somebody that's, that's, that's used to doing something to all of a sudden do something different and they don't know it's coming. Load ups are gone. Fall away threes are gonna be back, man. Like people really gonna be doing this, doing this stuff. And it's all because they're gonna figure out how to, how to they're gonna figure out what I've already figured out and what I'm telling y'all now is that if you can use the shot stick, timing means nothing. You don't, you don't need timing anymore. Only thing you need is to be able to center the shot. If you can center that shot stick, man, it's gonna take, I'm telling you, it's gonna take your game to a whole nother level. You're gonna be green in layups. You're gonna be green in everything. Now, one thing about it is it is hard to hit with this stick. Like, I wish they would've gave us a real shooter, like stuff like they gave us last year, but it is difficult to hit with the stick if you're in a, if you're not in your hot zone. Like it's it's gonna be different. I'm telling you, like it's gonna be stuff you're gonna be like, man, this I was in my hot zone, but you'll be able to hit stuff like that if you are in your hot zone. You see what I'm saying? So we're gonna get hot zones right, but I'm just saying the, the main thing for me is timing is gone. Like I said, load ups, don't have to worry about them no more. Because you don't have to time a load up. That's why, that's why it was so hard. Now, to shoot with the stick, this is what you want to do. You hold the stick down. Try to hold it as close to straight down as you can. If you get it straight down off the rip, you're good. But sometimes you won't, you won't. If that happens, don't panic. Just rotate it slowly, as slowly as you can toward down. That's all you gotta do. Lo rotate it as slowly as you can toward down. Do not take your finger off the stick though. You're shooting with the stick, this is how you want it to be right here. I wish I had one of those things. You just hold it. Because, like I said, there is no timing. So if you just hold it, uh, then you're already close. You're already close enough. I don't know if they're gonna if they're gonna do something with it or not, but I can tell you that this is a significant enough difference that I will be using the stick. Like a lot of people probably won't. I will. Like you're gonna take one thing out of the game and then give me something that I can actually do way better. I can do this way better than I could time. Uh, knocking time. I'm not saying I'm a bum because I always shot over 60% on 2K. I'm just trying to show y'all something else that's busted that y'all can get on top of right now. That's all. That's all you need to know. But look, another thing is you're going. We're gonna inevitably have broken jump shots in the game again this year. Some jump shots, you know, they're gonna have. You know, they're gonna have a sweeter green zone than other jump shots, right? Jump shot 38 this year had it i could not use 38 for the simple fact that i just couldn't use 38 like the reason i couldn't use 38 i couldn't catch the timing like that's gone now you don't have to worry about jump shots where you don't where you can't where you can't catch the timing on anymore you don't have to worry about catching the timing because like i say put out something like 104 104 had a little funky timing and i'm not even gonna lie to you right don't gotta worry about that now they say Kawhi's jump shot of Paul George got the sweet, the biggest green zone, the biggest green center, the biggest whatever. Guess what? You can use it now because you ain't got to worry about catching the timing. If you're a center, 
you know, if you're a sinner, we have to we we really have to look at our hands in order to uh, shoot the ball as sinners, right? Because you have to be very precise. Now you don't even got to do that. Now you just you just got to aim it the right way, and it's 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 still hard for me to shoot from the top. I don't know why. I think it's because Kawhi has no no hot zones and stuff like I said. But like you you're really gonna be able to just just do what you want to do now. Like just just take these shots. Just go in. Like any shot. There is no timing anymore. And the thing is, if you can get it from the jump, if you can get it pulled straight down from the jump, you don't even have to rotate. So the more you practice, the more often you're gonna be able to just have it pulled straight down from the jump. And then another thing is this, get the shoot situations, right? I'm already holding it down. So now only thing I'm gonna only thing I'm gonna have to do is rotate and catch and shoot situations. I don't have to do a whole lot. I'm try I wish they would stop passing me the ball so I could show y'all some catch and shoots. Maybe I didn't hit it too much already. Bro, would you stop passing me the ball? Alright, here we go. So I wanna I'm already holding it down right now, right? Catch and shoot. Boom. And then you just you just, all I'm about to do is just slide it over a little bit. As long as it's down, the the, the more accurate you are right off the bat the easier it's gonna be for you. And I think that, that that's something that we're gonna be able to, as, as a community, we'll be able to figure that part out right off the bat. But the biggest thing, like I'm saying is, is it's gonna open the game up for everybody just because, look at this, like fades. Stuff like that, you don't have to worry about timing all. Best jump shot in the game, we don't have to worry about catching that timing. Why I gotta worry about catching timing? I ain't gotta do that no more. Shooting from the top, I can't see my hands. That's that's nothing now. That's that's nothing now. Don't have to worry about it because I'm looking at the meter and I'm look buckets. I'm looking at the meter. I don't think Kawhi can shoot threes from up there, but from up there though. But I'm looking at the meter now. I'm not even looking now. Now people closing out on me. Why I care? Dude, you better still take that shot. And like I said, these fadeaway threes, bro. You can you can definitely hit them. Like I said, this can be potentially game breaking or it's just really going to separate the good people from the bad people. But I'm just putting it out there early. I'm concerned because I'm not, I'm not worried about people being able to hit threes or nothing like that. What I'm really, what I'm really worried about is the fades. The fades can get really bad. Like, look, go in here, practice this with Kawhi, practice these fades. Like I said, you're gonna practice them, you're gonna see that it's way easier to do than than anything. And then like I said, like with this, like look, this is me shooting with the uh shooting with the meter. I mean, obviously it's easy to shoot with the meter, but if you just commit some time to doing this, man, I'm telling you, you will prefer it and you will see what I'm saying when I'm saying that this got the potential to be super broken. The Mizzle ain't the only one that can fade no more. Look, look, Fracino, I missed, I missed that one, bro. I ain't mean. Fracino ain't the only one that's gonna be able to fade no more, bro. Like, it's gonna be a lot of people that's gonna come out of nowhere and just, this, this is what they're gonna be doing right here. They're just gonna be, be step back threes. It's gonna be fades. It's gonna be post hooks and stuff like that, bro. It's, it's, it's gonna be crazy. You don't even have to time it right no more. So if you got good moves and good stuff like that, you, you're not you're not gonna have to worry about it. Fuck it. Anyway, man, y'all get what I'm saying, man. So what we gotta learn when you pull down on the stick, just hold it, hold it until he releases it by itself. That's the key. That's the main major key. And don't try to rotate it too hard. If you rotate it too fast, you might you have a you have an excellent chance to blow the shot. Or you're gonna be off. So just get used to trying to rotate it to to um you know to straight six o'clock. Sometimes you're gonna get it and it's already gonna be at six o'clock. So don't worry about it. But it is like I said, a little fun. That's a little fun, little mini game aspect to it, man. But this is what I'm most worried about right here. These fades. I don't even. I mean, on twos, man, it's gonna be crazy like that. You you think that this is all we saw right here on twos? This year, it's gonna be something else. Anyway, man, 
like I said, it's just it's day one for me too, just like it is for everybody else. But I really think it's gonna be something that people are gonna just. I, I just think that it's gonna be something that people are gonna gravitate toward and realize how broken it is right out the bat. So, what do we got? Then let's get, as a center, I can now shoot from anywhere. Um, as long as I got my high spots, I can shoot from anywhere. Uh, you can use any jump shot now because timing is no longer a factor. So once we find the jump shot with the with the quickest, I mean with the biggest green, uh, biggest green middle, the most forgiving green middle, we gonna be good. And then number three, these fades, bro, these fades go crazy. I'm telling y'all. I'll give I put y'all to the broke stuff. I put y'all on to the, all the broke stuff in the game every year, man. And this is like the fifth time I done did this video because I didn't like how I came out in other ones. And if I had somebody better than Kawhi shooting, I bet you anything that it'll be even more. But you can't deny, you can't deny how how crazy fades and stuff like that are gonna be now that you don't have to worry about that. Like, like you can't deny that part look at this you're not gonna be able to deny how crazy these fades are gonna be anyway man um y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section is it something that you think only good players gonna be able to do i can do it so it, it, it can't be that hard because i'm a bomb at least that's what y'all always say but it's just like bro look at this like now that i done got into a little groove just look at it like, I done got into a groove now, bro. I done got into a little groove. But anyway, it is what it is. When we find the one with the with the biggest center, that's what it's going to be. And uh, I'm going to use it. Get on board right now, man. Don't wait until 2K comes out and you behind. Sub up right now. I'm going to be putting on to you. I'm going to be putting y'all on to all the broke stuff all year. I do it every year. And then other people just steal it from me and act like they came up with it. But anyway, shot sticks is broken. Uh, we gonna use it. Hey, as for me and mine, we out here scrapped. Anyway, I'm out of y'all next time, man. Till next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Speak. Well, I put y'all on to the broke stuff every time, man. I'm telling y'all, I have some more broke stuff for y'all later on. Just, just rock with your boy, man. Thub up, and I'm out. Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't fine I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I could give a hard trash plan to a giant I ain't lying, God speak We good